Hey guys, it's Roger with you. Question came in about the Addictive Drums VST plugin. The question is, can you tell me how do I separate all the drum parts into different channels in the mixer? All right, so let's take a look at Addictive Drums. Um, the mixer is sort of built right into the front panel of Addictive Drums. Uh, you could change the individual volume via slider um, you could, uh, that's the snare, that's the kick drum fader there, and you could change the snare drum and the hi-hat and everything about uh, the volume of each individual drum right here in the mixer section on the front uh, plate of addictive drums. You could furthermore do things like this. You could pan that drum left or right. Uh, you can solo up that drum and listen to it individually, or you could mute it and take it out of the mix altogether. Um, if you wanted to do a little deeper editing on that individual drum, you could uh, choose it and uh, go into the editing portion here where you can change the pitch of that individual drum, the volume. Uh, there's a little filter, a little high pass, low pass type filter. We're not going to get into great detail about what each one of these various things in this editing section does, just letting you know they exist and there they are. Um, you can change the microphone position from the front to the back. You can add or take away compression. You can change the EQ. Uh, you can do lots of things in this section here. So, uh, and if you need to uh, choose to a different drum, you can click here on snare drum. Now you're going to be able to edit everything about the snare drum, okay, in the same way. Hi hat, uh, extras, cowbell, toms. So you can see that there wouldn't be any need, in my opinion, to. Uh, have these drums separated into separate channels within Cubase or Pro Tools or, or GarageBand or whatever you're working in because you can do all of that right here in Addictive Drums. That's the beauty of it. It's all inclusive right there. I do hope this helps a little bit. Um, this has been Roger and we'll see you at the next tutorial. Take care guys. Bye.